Okay everyone, uh, today's video, I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible. It should be a short one. I'm installing a cold air intake, but it's not a typical uh, kind. This is a carb legal. Um, basic hand tools are required for this. Uh, should take about uh, 15 minutes or so. Uh, this is how it came packaged. Oops, sorry. So, let's get this all out of here. And this is pretty much going to be the bulk of it. Um, this air box. And then the filter goes in there. So I'm going to move all this over now to the engine and then we'll get started. Okay, so the first step is just removing this. Okay. The next step, I have to disconnect over here and then loosen these nuts so that way I can pull out this air box. So when you get it out, it's gonna be facing this way. You're gonna disconnect your mass airflow sensor. You're gonna have two screws and it was also the wire harness was connected to this part right here. That was holding up, you're gonna to have to push that through, disconnect that, and there's a grommet hole in the back that you just gotta pull really hard on. Okay. So, getting the stock coupling off, my coworker noticed that there's a huge just tear in this. And I've been driving around with this the whole time like that. And he said this has been a known problem for a while. So, thank God we're changing this out and putting something new in and putting a brand new coupler in. Uh, as I said, you do have to reuse the mass airflow sensor and the gasket that came with it. And they supply all the rest of the stuff, but we're going to move to the next step. Okay, so when you put the air filter on, it goes flush like that, and then I kept the screw there, that way there's easy access to it. Okay, on this original coupling here, you're going to have two of these bolts. They are a 5.5 millimeter socket, and I used a quarter inch ratchet with a six inch extension to take these off. So one of the included parts is a grommet, which is going to go right there. And this is the coupling they gave us with more uh, tie straps that we're gonna use to secure this to the throttle box. Okay, so after you get that bolt out, that bolt out, and a grommet in the back, like I said, this air box will pull out. But you also have to disconnect this. This is it all set up now. These clips just hold this part in. You reuse the bottom piece. And we're going to do a startup and see how this bad boy sounds now. Race car. So, sorry we couldn't show you guys more. This They say 15 minutes. This job was a pain in the butt. It was a lot longer than 15 minutes. It's just we condensed it down. It's a good 30-minute job. Yeah. Like <laughs> my coworker said, it's about a good 30-minute job, and it was two of us doing it. But it is definitely doable. Uh, sounds great. If you like this video, hit that like button. Hit Mind subscribe. Mine. Just so you guys know, this was in the way. Yes. You probably won't have that issue. Yes. If you do have one, remove, remove this bar before you do it. We, I didn't have the Allen head, so I couldn't remove it. So we had to work around it, which made it a little bit more painful, but we were able to get the job done. So like I said, you found this video helpful, hit the like button, the subscribe button. We'll see everyone in the next video. Take care.